Sharp, Stewart and Company was a steam locomotive manufacturer, initially based in Manchester, England. The company was formed in 1843 upon the demise of Sharp, Roberts and Co. It moved to Glasgow, Scotland in 1888, eventually amalgamating with two other Glasgow-based locomotive manufacturers to form the North British Locomotive Company. Early days Iron merchant Thomas Sharp and mechanical engineer Richard Roberts first formed a partnership, Sharp, Roberts & Co., about which, see also company section in article on Roberts, to manufacture textile machinery and machine tools. They opened the Atlas Works in Manchester in 1828. They had built a few stationary steam engines, and in 1833 built a locomotive, experiment for the Liverpool and Manchester Railway. It was a four-wheeled 2 -2 with vertical cylinders over the leading wheels. After a number of modifications, three similar locomotives including Hibernia were built in 1834 for the Dublin and Kingstown Railway. Although they were relatively fast, they were too hard on the track at speed. However, in 1834 Charles Bayer also joined the firm and contributed to its success in locomotive building as Roberts soon delegated most of the locomotive design work to him. A new 2-2-2 design was soon produced with horizontal inside cylinders under the smokebox and additional bearings to support the crank axle. Around 600 of these sharp single locomotives were built between 1837 and 1857. Ten of the first were sold to the Grand Junction Railway, with the Sharpies becoming a standard to compare with the Berry engines. Topic: <laughs> Sharp Brothers and Company. In 1843, Roberts left and the firm became Sharp Brothers and Company. Between 1846 and 1848 the company provided 8-2-2 passenger and 2-0-4-2 goods locomotives to the Lynn and Dereham Railway. From 1851 to 1853 20 engines were built for the London and North Western Railway to the design of James Edward McConnell, the so-called «bloomers», subcontracted from Wolverton. Topic Sharp, Stewart and Company In 1852, the senior partner, John Sharp, retired and was replaced by Charles Patrick Stewart, the name of the company changing to Sharp Stewart and Company. Thomas Sharp also retired and was succeeded by Stephen Robinson. In 1860, sole rights were obtained for Gifford's patent injector. The company acquired limited liability in 1864. The company provided a number of 040 tender engines for the Furnace Railway of which No. 20, built in 1863 has been restored to working order by the Lakeside and Haverthwaite Railway in Cumbria. In 1862, the company began making larger engines, first some 4-6-0 saddle tank engines for the Great Indian Peninsula Railway. By 1865 they were building 0-8-0s, zero again for India. <laughs> Move to Glasgow Since they were also dealing in general brass and ironmongery, and machine tools, it became necessary to move, which they did in 1888. They took over and moved to the works of the Clyde Locomotive Company in Springburn, Glasgow, renaming it Atlas Works. 
A number of compounds were built for the Argentine Central Railway in 1889, some 4-0 4 and some 2-8-0. In 1892 they received an order for 75 4-4-0s and 0-6-0s from the Midland Railway. By now they had built a number of 4-6-0 engines for overseas railways, but in 1894 came the first Glasgow order for a British line, the "'Jones Goods' of the Highland Railway. By the end of the century they were supplying railways at home and all over the world. Between 1898 and 1901, Sharp Stewart and Company supplied no less than 16-4-6-0 and 4-4-8-0 locomotives to New Zealand railways. The 4-8-0 B-class locomotives survived till the end of steam either as built, or as 4-6-4-T engines of the Wii-class. The 4-6-0 locomotives were dumped in rivers and on the coast as erosion protection when their time was up. Three have since been salvaged for preservation. <laughs> <laughs> North British In 1903, having built over 5,000 engines, the company amalgamated with Nielsen, Reed and & Company and Dubs and & Company to form the North British Locomotive Company. See also Category – Sharp Stewart Locomotives equals equals references and sources <laughs>